a rare show of unity. The Prime Minister, Premier and Brisbane Lord Mayor for once in step. Getting together to ink a $1.8 billion plan for the South East. It's a boost to the well-being and livability of this incredible area of Australia. This is about connectivity. It's actually um, another chunk in that armour of infrastructure. The federal and state governments will commit more than $600 million each, with half a billion coming from councils and the remainder from industry. The plan includes more than 30 projects, most of them already announced, from Toowoomba to the Sunshine and Gold Coasts, including a ferry terminal upgrade on Stradbroke Island to a green bridge in Brisbane and a motor sport and entertainment precinct at Wellcamp near Toowoomba. There's also cash for studies to improve digital connectivity and better transport corridors. What we're seeing today is the first five years, the foundation of a city deal that will last for 20 years. The planned centrepiece is the $450 million Gabba Brisbane Metro, which will be a key hub for the 2032 Olympic and Paralympic Games. The new Gabba station is much more than a new station. It's a major new transport interchange. All this money, but no word yet on whether the Commonwealth will pay half of a $770 million flood package to help affected residents repair or sell their homes. And we're working through some additional requests that have been made by the Queensland Government that we received on the weekend. This was Scott Morrison's second visit to Queensland in less than two weeks. He held five separate media events in eight hours, crisscrossing from the city to Scarborough, Caboolture and Wacol. While a federal election is yet to be called, it sure feels like a campaign is well underway. Rachel Riga, ABC News, Brisbane.